Good evening. Welcome to our Midweek Family Connect. Pastor Walker has been leading us through our series called Dangerous Prayers. This past Sunday, he spoke about what if you were one prayer away from your breakthrough. Can you imagine you've been crying out for weeks, months, possibly years, and today is the day of your breakthrough? I want to submit to you tonight that dangerous prayers can not only be the big prayers we are asking for, but dangerous prayers can also be the prayers we are not praying. We have the ability to change our circumstances through and by prayer. Over the last several weeks, we have been referencing Luke 11 verses 5, 5 through 8. Jesus is telling a parable about someone being persistent. This is what he says, starting in verse 5. Then Jesus said to them, Suppose you have a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me, and I have no food to offer him. And suppose the one inside answers, Do not bother me. The door is already locked and my children and I are in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not give up, get up and give you the bread because of friendship, yet because of your shameless audacity, he will surely get up and give you as much as you need. Shameless audacity. In some versions say persistent. Persistence. In the Greek, Shameless audacity or persistence comes from two different Greek words. The first one means without, and the second one means shame. This particular word or word grouping, shameless audacity or persistence, is only used in Luke 11:8, and it literally means shamelessness, and it relates to carrying out God's plan with unembarrassed boldness. It pertains to a faith-led believer who is not halted by human fears. See, we have the tendency when we have prayed for something and it doesn't happen immediately, our faith can waver. But what if today was the day of your breakthrough? What if today was the day that your prayers get answered? Would you have the strength or the shameless audacity to pray that prayer one more time? I want to share another parable with you. This parable is also found in the book of Luke, chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. And it says, Then Jesus told his disciples this parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea, grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care what people think, yet because of this widow bothers me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. And then the Lord says, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? With the first parable I shared, we see a friend going to another friend's house at midnight. But Jesus tells us it's not because of the friendship that the man gets what he wants, but it's because of his shameless audacity and faith he gets what he wants. In the parable I just read, the widow is going to an unjust judge. But because of her faith, the judge who didn't care about God or people finally honored her request. The first parable, we have shameless audacity and faith. In the second parable, we have position, persistence, and faith. The position of being God's chosen people 
and the persistence of crying out day and night. We find that in verse 7. It says, will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones? That's our position. Who cry out to him day and night? That's our persistence. Will he keep putting them off? Verse 8 goes on to tell us that the faith of the widow, about the faith of the widow, by using a contrary question, however, when the Son of Man comes to earth, will he find faith? These elements, position, persistence, and faith, are a breeding ground for miracles, breakthrough, and answered prayer. So I will ask you one more time, as the pastor did on Sunday, what if today was the day? What if you just had to pray that prayer you've been praying one more time? Well, I hope that you are encouraged by this, and not just by my words, but Jesus' words to keep praying and to have faith. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we just come to you now, Lord Jesus, and we just ask that you breathe new life um, into us, breathe new life into some of these old prayers that seem so far away. Father God, may we have eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit of God is saying. Father God, may we not be focused on our circumstances, but focused on you, Father God. Lord, I just ask that um, you be with each and everyone listening. Lord, may they be revived, Lord. Fill them. Um, Father God, and Lord, I just ask that, that Lord, that um, they have the shameless audacity to keep going, keep pushing forward, as you say, as you su suggest, as your word says. And Father God, we just ask you this all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, please stay with us in just a few moments at 7.30. Pastor Walker will be bringing our Wednesday night Bible study to you, and you do not want to miss this. And, of course, we have prayer in the morning from 6.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. And if you would like to join, please comment below, and we'll make sure that you get the link. And last but not least, we will be having a, our third sunset service this Sunday evening in our parking lot. It opens at 7 and service starts at 7.30. We look forward to seeing you then. God bless you and we love you.